Well, let's take a turn to our weather now, and we are once again joined by Nicholas Ferreri. He is uh, here from our sister station up in Fort Wayne. Welcome. Thanks for helping us out here on the weekends. Uh, we are talking about this rain, and you said it's uh, we're probably going to it's going to be starting up here soon, and it's going to help with our air quality as well, right? Yeah, as we make our way toward early morning, that's when we get the chance at seeing some scattered rain. The first of perhaps a number of chances as we go through our Monday. You know, it's been a good weekend for dad. No rain for him and all his celebrations, but a bad weekend for our yards and gardens as we still wait for a nice good soaking rain. We have a chance, especially in one section of the area, to get that soaking rain within the course of the next couple days. Right now, we're hanging on to the warmth outside. It's 75 here at this late hour. Humidity not a problem at all, but that'll be ticking up just a touch over the next couple of days. The air quality alerts we've dealt with over the course of the weekend, we won't have to worry about them tomorrow because this next system that's moving in, it's going to allow the atmosphere to get mixed up and also brings us this rain chance. Satellite and radar reveals the clouds increasing. We'll see even more during the day tomorrow. There likely won't be all that much sunshine, especially from Indianapolis onto the south. You can see this system is going to gradually move to the east over the next couple days, keeping a rain chance in the picture. Not going to be raining every moment and not going to be enough rain to completely erase our rainfall deficits that we have here this month. We're more than two and a half inches below average in Lafayette, more than two inches in Indy or down about an inch and a quarter in Shelbyville. With the rain that we get with this next system through Tuesday at midday, we could see spots to the southeast pick up the heaviest amount. So if you're around Columbus, you could get up to an inch, if not a little bit more of rain. But the farther northwest you go in the area, the amounts are going to be really small. Lafayette and Kokomo, not much at all based on the storm's current track. Here's future view as we march our way into early morning. Likely no rain at all until 3 in the morning. Even after that point, the rain chances just slowly tick up. So maybe a sprinkle or two as you head out for the morning drive, especially if you are located anywhere southeast of Indianapolis. Over the course of the morning, the rain tries to make headway a little bit more to the north, most of it staying south of 70 at that point. As we go through the afternoon, the rain still trying to inch its way off to the west, doesn't make it all that far west over the course of the late afternoon, but overnight into Tuesday morning, that's when it will have greater success at making its way in that direction. High temperatures tomorrow as a result of this next system will be held down in the 70s from Indianapolis on to the south. 77 for Indies High, 79 in Terre Haute, but low 80s to the north in Lafayette, Kokomo, and Muncie. Now we finish out on Monday, get into Tuesday, and on Tuesday it is possible, especially before noon, that we have some scattered sprinkles still lingering. Not much, not a heavy amount of precipitation, and then during the afternoon those sprinkles taper off. Much less rain on Tuesday as compared to what we get tomorrow. Here's a look at future view for Tuesday. Our high temperatures in the 80s all around with 84 being Indianapolis' high. Here tonight, down to 65 only by morning as those clouds increase and we throw in that scattered early morning rain chance. The wind's a little bit breezy at times tonight and then during the day tomorrow. In your seven day forecast, 77 is tomorrow's high with an 84 on Tuesday. Wednesday, 85 as summer begins and we'll begin summer without any rain. Thursday, 82 degrees. On Friday, our temperature 80. For the following weekend, Saturday 82, Sunday 86, conditions at this point looking dry. That's your latest forecast.